we now I now call upon Professor Pradeepa to introduce the guest to the gathering. Good morning uh, to each one present from here. So we have our honorable guests here. Mr. Karunakaran S, who has done as a Entech and Digital Communication, BMS uh, College of Engineering, and is the founder of Skimazin Technologies, and he is having around 15 years of experience in electronics product development, PCB design, IOD product, and uh, so many other manufacturing things. And he's worked at Cisco and Intel and he's having various startup companies as uh, in the hardware or architecture field. And he's trained and uh, around 500 plus candidates and all those are being placed in very good companies. So he's also providing training and workshop at various engineering colleges across Karnataka. So all of you can approach sir for uh, future uh, placement or being placed in any companies. We welcome you sir. We have one more honorable uh, guest, Mr. Les Vinayaka Babu. He is also completed at MTEC in VLSI and Embedded Systems of Bangalore University and he has done his MBA from IIM Bangalore. So that is important. Be interactive in the sessions, okay? That will motivate speakers, our uh, experts, to come to the campus again and again, okay? So with this, again, I take this opportunity to welcome uh, Vinay Babu sir. He is a managing director for Prosumi Technology, Private Limited, Bangalore, and Karnatan sir. He is also running his own uh, company uh, who has involved in design PCB and many electronics products. Uh, thank you sir, welcome you again, thank you and uh, only my appeal to all the students, those who don't have laptops, tomorrow onwards you might uh, please try to arrange laptops so that you no know, hands-on session will not be affected, okay? So you, you, you will have better learning if you have uh, laptops, okay? Uh, because uh, embedded system will try to you know, engage in fourth, stamp, uh, fourth floor R&D lab. So there we have uh, 10 to 12 systems. Rest, uh, no, other students it will be difficult to carry out the uh, hands-on sessions. Okay. So with this, I wish you all the best. Uh, have uh, no, wonderful one week uh, training session. Enjoy the sessions, enjoy the learning, and have better learning outcomes at the end of the program. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, sir. So we can now begin with the session. PCB, who have taken PCB, you can stay here. Those students who have taken embedded systems, you can go to first floor seminar hall. They will be coming. The technology is migrating so fast. Ten years is a sufficient gesture period. Not like a battery where one year, two years it may die or the battery. Let's say a guy has manufactured a chip and he has kept it off the shelf. He has not, today I manufacture, I today I will not be able to sell. Probably it's manufactured somewhere in the US or Philippines or Malaysia. To reach to you, it may take at least six to seven weeks. And the day he manufactures, it has a date code. So by then, the half the life shelf is gone, there only. Right? By the time it reaches to you. So, so this is what I have done there. This is my flow. I gained a lot of knowledge uh, talking to many people and uh, promoting this part and I met a lot of people, uh, you name it, internationally, I have met most of the design engineers, talking to Cisco, Alcatel, Motorola, Motorola in Malaysia, Cisco, Inventec in uh, Penang and uh, Singapore, many companies, many companies. So I am here to just to share my knowledge and interact with you. Currently what I am doing is, I am doing projects for ISRO and I am doing for ADA. In ADA, uh, recently now we signed up one project, uh, it's uh, RTM, uh, Real Time Engine Management System. So this is basically Mark III, uh, which is a superset uh, jet fighter pilot, where you are going to simulate the cockpit. You know the cockpit, right? Yes. In the cockpit, we want to do the complete simulation. The problem, the challenge, what they are seeing is already G is being the solution. But the TOT was the issue, number one. 
but there are some intricacies which I can't be able to explain. But that is the low signal coming from the voltage supervisor. The processor turns off and it will stop working. Okay. 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 So so what is the problem? Are you not able to understand? How many of you are not able to understand the problem? Let me break down into simple uh, further simple I simplify it again. How many of you are not understood? What will happen? Raise your hands. Raise your hands. No. Three. So what about the others? You have understood? So we are not able to explain in in here. So what are we going to do now? Okay. What is this? What is this? This block? Processor block. Right? Let's take the CPU example. We have a reset button in the CPU, right? So if you hold the reset button continuously, if you are holding it, what will happen? The system will be in the reset state. When you remove your finger, it will come out of reset. Right? It will come out of reset. So the same thing the block, the voltage supervisor is doing. Whenever a reset is generated, whenever a low is generated from this side, whenever a low bar, low is generated from recent bar, it is as good as you are holding your recent button. Right? So when the reset is generated, you know the reason, when it will be generated. When it is generated? When all the voltages are fine. When all the voltages are greater than the corresponding thresholds. Right? Okay. So if 2.5 is not coming, let me ask now the second question. So if 2.5 is not coming, what will be the state of reset bar? One. Very good. If 2.5 is not coming, what will be the state of reset bar? See, so engineering is engineering is something like uh, reading and getting 70 marks or 80 marks. It's not that, that is not. You should you should be logical. That's why you are an engineer, right? It should be logically one. How how it would be one? Anyone from this room? This we are trying out. I don't want to keep explaining this like first day. First day I understand because you are not able to answer that very clear. But at least now you have to come some level. What's your name? Yeah. Can you can you give it try? What will happen to the recent bar if my 2.5 volts is not coming? Reset bar will be zero. Reset bar will be zero. What will be the state? Zero. What? High voltage is not coming. It will be off. It will be off. off. You should use proper. If I if I explain like this, will you understand? Huh? If you hear the explain part, then you will understand. Then you see clear. Right? Okay. So. So reset bar is only connected only when all the three are uh, greater than the reset bar. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just trying to understand whether you are really you are able to understand or just you are just sitting uh, for the sake of attendance or something. <coughs> yeah, good, good. Sir, uh, you said that when you be connecting to reset bar uh, only. Are greater than the threshold, no, sir. It will be connected. The usage of the usage of word should be proper. It will generate a reset. I told right. The reset will be generated, right? Okay. So let me explain one second. No problem. Anyone here? Do you want to give it try? Mm -hmm. huh? It will be low. Why is low? Take take the mic and speak. No. Uh, when everything is uh, right. Uh, yeah. When it is uh, not, when one of the thing is uh, not working, so the graph will be at low, and if it is switched, it will be low. After switch, it will be low. Okay. So, so, so uh, take. I think uh, you will understand better if you take a notes, right? Okay. If all the take off. Now let me see third time I am trying. If all the DC to DC output voltages are correct. If all the DC to DC output voltages are correct, if all the DC to DC output 
voltages are correct, then reset bar will be in high state. Then reset bar will be in high state. If any one of the next point, if any one of the DC to DC is not correct, if any one of the DC to DC is not correct, then the reset bar will be low. Okay. Third point, the reset bar will remain in low, the reset bar will remain in low, the reset bar will remain in low until all the DC to DC outputs, until all the DC to DC outputs all the DC to DC outputs provides the correct voltage. Right? So now, now it is clear. How many of you are not clear even after this? You can raise your hands. Okay. So and draw uh, the waveform now. It is not a graph. You should not tell it as a graph. Right? It is a waveform. You are uh, in form. How many of you are in fourth semester? Uh, how many of you are in sixth semester? Any sixth semester students? Only one. So what I meant is, uh, so this is the time. So, so let's say this is 3.3 volt level, and this is reset bar waveform. Okay. So the reset bar waveform is this is the high state. If it is 3.3 volts, it's high state. If it is coming like this, zero volts. This is a high state. This is a high state. So this area is low state, right? This area is low state. So what do you, what do you mean by this waveform here? What do you understand here? This area, it is the system is in reset. The processor is in reset, right? So it is as because we are holding the reset button. Now, why is this? Why is this coming? Voltage supervisor is generating a reset. Why it is? Because some of any one or more than one voltage is not good. Okay. I last point and the third point, it will stay in the reset until you fix the outputs problem. So what will happen in say for example inside your mobile phone or your laptop, as I told, like this you have multiple voltage, so multiple DC to DC converters. If by chance one of the DC to DC has gone bad. 2.5 has gone bad, so you should not allow your processor to work in that condition. All the other voltages are fine. Only 2.5 is not coming. So if you run the system in that in that uh, state, what will happen is it will mark on. So the system is automatically has to take an action and put him into the reset state. Okay. So so this is what is happening. So it will continue into the the low will be there till if you are, till you fix it. So next, so you, you understood about sense 1, sense 2, sense 3, right? Anyone has any doubt on this? Yeah. So why is it a reset bar? So it really large uh, effects that, you know, given an argument that can be as good as you know, uh, when you say A bar is nothing but A complement. Why is it called a reset bar? A bar is, see, complement can be spent. A, A bar is a complement of A, vice versa, right? What is reset bar? Reset bar means, that is what I told, what, let me explain what is it. You have a DC to DC with enable. You have a DC to DC with enable bar, work. Let's assume. If you are giving one, this switch enable is activated. If you are giving zero, the enable is activated. So the opposite is a not working condition, right? 
So reset bar, you can have an active high or active low status. Reset bar is an active low status. Okay. So now, now coming back. So now coming back. Uh, so everyone understood about sense one, sense two, sense three. So I will explain you today how to uh, select this component also from where to buy. There are thousands. There are hundreds of voltage supervisors in the market. How to select it? Okay. Now sense three. So out of which, which voltage is got solved for you? 3.3, 2.5, 1.8, 9, 1.0. How many voltages you are able to sense now? 3.3 is okay, 1.8 was okay because it was direct, direct on sense 1 and sense 2. Sense 3 can be used to sense this or this. You can use for both. But, but what you have to understand is sense 3 is user defined. Go to that table, user defined. User defined means if you are if you see some usefulness in this uh, workshop, so can we start with the uh, first Sagar. Okay. So so uh, I, I want to know what is really whether it is interesting to you or. Uh, whether you are able to understand how was the course? You have been talking. So the course was very informative, sir. Mm. <laughs> so the course was very informative, sir. Uh, Keep your mic close. Mm. Uh, I learned a lot about how PCB design works in the industry level. And then I had a hands-on experience on the software. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay. So anything you want to say? Anything okay. else you want to say? You know, you know the good experience. Okay, okay. So who want to give the who want to be, I want to know other guys' experience. Anyone else you want to talk to? Who? Not, not, not. You will talk to. Can you talk a little I expected like, I had practiced like multi a lot, like I have like, like So I I consider myself to be like very good with like multi and So I came into the like the course thinking like it will be similar and like I can improve on like my entire skills on that circuit with the part. So like when I entered the course and like I saw like a um, different perspective like from what I'm doing like, Mm. So like, like that industry perspective of like how design of a circuit board works mm. and everything has like helped me like understand better and like in a way like improve my skills mm. to a certain level at least mm. I have felt so far. Okay. You 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 give your yeah. feedback. Talk a little bit loudly. Uh, uh, the course was very good, sir. So whatever you uh Zero. Okay, good. 
See, there are, uh, I said, don't consider this, just a few words from my side, don't consider this as just a workshop. Tomorrow you can make it as a career. Definitely you can make it as a career. And this is for four companies only. And there are a number of big companies where you can get into it. This is just serve as a, this is just serve as a. So, I need to consider this software. So, I got experience in Talk in Canada, so those who want to talk in Canada, feel free to talk. Nothing like that. If you are comfortable in Canada, you can. Sir, I don't know much about Canada, but uh, after I came into this course, I got to know many things about PCB and uh, it was very interesting. Thank you. Were you able to follow or it was because first day I was seeing a lot of dull phrases, at least second day and third day, I was seeing some, 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 some aspects. No sir, I tried to like, use things with the whole thing. Not only it's really actually most of the thing. Because, yeah, uh, to, to get into the subjects, it takes some time. Okay, once, without that, uh, doing a tool, uh, anyone can do. You will not be an engineer working on a tool. Right? So now you created a library, one library. If I tell you to create another 10 years, you create So over a period of time, if you are experienced, you will be, uh, now you have taken 30 minutes. Tomorrow it might take 10 minutes. But doing a tool uh, may be more interesting for you. But if you want to design a product, if you have knowledge, you understand the concept, that is more important. So along with that tool, you can get a better combination. Okay? So take it as a career. Definitely, you can get into companies like Intel and Cisco. And uh, the packages are also very high. Don't get restricted to just in courses that you go. If you're not able to make it, that's fine. But at least, Stand up first. Speak a little bit loudly. Keep your mic. Ah. Yes, sir. Ah. Uh, this guy from editorial, we need to about Little bit loud. We do a lot of projects related to this side. Today we get you know how we make PCBs and how we put into a system around. Very helpful for us. Okay. Thank you. I learned a lot from this and I got to know how to design, how it's actually done. Okay. Yeah, it was very informative session. Great. And I would like to know more about it. Sure, sure. So any person who wants to get trained uh, further, you want to make it as a profession, you can uh, get in touch with me, post, okay? We have uh, short-term courses, we have online courses, we align you till, by the time you go to seventh semester, listen here. By the time you go to 7th semester or 6th semester when your campus starts coming, we are working with uh, your, uh, your departments also to see can we bring uh, some core companies for interest instead of uh, just equal design because can we bring some core companies and place our candidates, place you yourself in core companies. So for that, definitely when you have a skill sets, you can make it into bigger. Procedures for uh, you know, designing PCB and even the manufacturing, the schematic architecture. So, yeah, it was very good. Good. Sir. Anyone else want to give some feedback? Anyone else in the last bench? You want to have more sessions? For your uh, if you fit the uh, So this is just a, see, if I want to explain on a higher architecture, on a higher uh, design of these things, first we should know what is library, what is schematics, what is a data sheet, that is what we will try to do. So in upcoming classes in future, if you get a time in your fifth semester or sometimes I might be coming, coming for uh, some sessions for you. There, then you have some basics already you have learned, then on top of that, you 
Frederick is a good design IoT product. We can see likely how you can design an IoT product. As an example, in any product, uh, you can see the architecture of the mobile phone, how it is there, what are the complexities here. So if I want to talk all those things, I, then I should have some basic understanding among you. Only then we can talk on that. Definitely, we, if you are interested in uh, future semesters, I may come down. Are you interested? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where is a market? 
market analysis as an engineer may not work. As a professor, when I want to convey, want to motivate students, I have to do the survey. Only book you, what he has written something in the book in maybe 1990 or 2000, 20 years back, same thing I teach, you will not sit for my class, I am sure. I should be updated what is happening outside. I should know market on electronics. Where is the scope? Where is where are jobs available? You send me your profile. Today we have your brother, sister, friends in the final year who have good knowledge of microcontroller. Minimum six to ten people I place immediately. This is one good product we have and. Uh, you, 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 you can send a resume, I will give the interview. If he answers basics, he will get. That is for sure. And that experience no IT company can give. IT companies you do it with your business and will, they will change you to the job profile. Today you will work on some platform. Next after uh, six months, he will get another project. And he will put on another platform. And he will ask you to learn other language. Instead of that, you can master in one area and uh, now you, you can enjoy it, you can excel in the chosen field. That is how you have to think of, you should not become like a lemon. man. Okay? You should know what I am going to do tomorrow after my engineering. You should plan. Okay? So with that background, let me uh, make a statement. Think of product. Okay? Think of entrepreneurship. Instead of seeking job in the company and working as a labor, there is no meaning. Your, your system is your life in the company. You will not have good friends, you will not have family life. Okay? But here you will be interacting with so many people as an entrepreneur, you will be talking to so many companies, discussing because product means you have to take so many people's help. You will be giving jobs to the people and satisfaction you will have to enjoy that. Think of product. So, I don't have a good product to show here, but uh, now at the end of the day, the PCB design you have seen the process last two, four days. Okay, PCB design is one part. Once you are able to design the PCB, depending on the application you want to build, next is PCB assembly. PCB assembly means component assembly on the board. That is what I want to dress and finally after assembling the components, that is not the end of the story. That is the beginning of PCB manufacturing. Manufacturing is different. Design is different. Okay? With the tool, what design you have learned. That is the first phase in the product life cycle. Okay? So, when I say PCB printed circuit boards, it is components mounted on this. After mounting, what is the process involved in soldering it, then testing it, then functional testing, then burn testing, burn test means load testing. And after load testing, you do packaging and then deliver it to the customer. That is the end of the story of this product. Okay? So components are mounted, then once components are mounted, you rework. Rework. What you do in the rework? All short circuits and all you will remove. And then you will test it. Test it for what? For my specifications, suppose say it is already defined, the frequency of the circuit here, frequency, voltage, current, driving capability, everything you are checking, you have a chart defined for this PCB and according to that you are checking, yes, current should be 5 amperes maximum, if it is exceeding, there is a danger, okay, so you have to rework again on that. That is the reverting, testing and reverting. Okay? It is not a final product. Okay? So, testing you do. Then, functional testing. After reverting, correcting all these parameter based mistakes or errors because they are not matching my specification. Correct now? So, I have to send it back to the people who are assembling, you check the value of this component. You have put instead of 10k, you have put 20k and value what I am getting is different. Capacitor value for 70 microfarad I have mentioned in the design and you have put, blind you have assembled the component 
of maybe some FICO Farad capacitor. So you have to rework send back to the assembly unit, rectify that, again solder it, bring it to testing again. That is the first testing lab I'm talking. After testing, after reworking, then test again and send it to function test. Function means this is meant for what? For example, this PCB I have designed, assume it is not meant for that. Assume this is a polar water purifier circuit. Okay? So if there is a functionality test for defined for that water purifier circuit. You have almost uh, one feet length and uh, uh, five inch uh, no width PCB because we used to manufacture in 2001 uh, and two, three, three years. Okay? So, if this is developed for aquaguard water purifier uh, applications, you have to check the functionality. Okay? In the functionality test, whether it, it, it is able to clean the water or not, this is the functionality function you are checking. Whether it is able to clean the water or not, you have to test practically. Or you have to connect to the water tank or bucket or small water, you can test it. Check whether it is able to clean or not, you check. Okay, once that testing is successful, then you have to send it to the burn-in test. We call it as a load test. What is load test? Do you understand what is load test? Load test, you are putting this PCB for high resistance value and you are keeping it for minimum uh, 80 to 90 hours. Okay? It is usually, we used to keep 3 to 4 days in the burning test. Burning test means it is a load test. Okay? Large value of resistors will be connected and the load of this and the output of this PCB, where you are getting the PCB output, there you are connecting and testing whether this stands, withstands that load for 3-4 days. Check whether that is heated. You check the temperature with maybe thermocol or you know, thermometer. What is the temperature here on the board? If it is getting heated, then there is a problem. Problem of what? Very components, mismatch, what you have specified. What you have assembled till there is a gap. Okay? So that is the last testing is burning test or load test we call. Once load test is successful, then only we can dispatch the products to the customer. So once load testing is successful, you do the packaging. Everything is fine. I have tested, I have test testing. Functional testing, I have done uh, load testing, my product is pakka, I can deliver to the customer. Otherwise not. Without testing in a hurry, if customer requirement is 1000 PCB boards per day, just to meet his requirement or more money, if you send product and uh, tomorrow if it gets heated at customer place and uh, something burns or uh, if it is not functioning as per the requirement, definitely you will lose the business. So that much care you have to take. It is not just a PCB design, that is a beginning stage of PCB. Okay? Product design, that is the beginning stage of product uh, development. Product development is after load test, what you send to the customer, that is the product available for the dispatch and product. Okay? So that completes the product from this way. What is the IoT contribution in this part? So it can show MD's launch part very good. It will show the MD starts automatic stopping and automatic pricing of the pain and time how to log your part. Very good. How long the time calculation the part can be set. You can do this just with the for instances. Am I right? And your app should be so, so strong. How it should be. I will take out my car. In my car itself, everything is there, map everything is there. I will tell my destination is my just and in a parking. Then it should tell five parkings, 
from that, so it's all starts up free. If you want to book, you can book. Five rupees is more. If you want to book previously. Okay. Otherwise, it's your choice that see the parking. If the parking is almost all free, I will take some uh, one hour to go there. It will be there. On my list, I'll go. It's better for me also. I'll go there. Okay. Parking, everything is part parking there. Like it can be done. Almost all smart cities, the parking system will be like that. And I will record my vehicle from my house. I can decide which path I should go. Before 3 kilometers, I will come to know that where traffic jam has been occurred. So take a deviation, decide you go. In Google Maps also now, nowadays we are getting. And you know that red color, blue color will be there. So it will show that, it will show that this risk is there here. Shortest way, another way, or how much long time it will take a dog. Right? You can do that. You can do it. But it's working on GPS. The problem is there that satellite communication, GPS communication will not so accurate that whenever it's heavy riding, heavy things cover this thing. What is the solution for this is very much important. What is the solution for this? I need an elaborative internet road once so where smart cities are like that, where internet is free there, are you getting? And everyone can access, each and every object can access there. So with this type of apps, you should plan, you should give a proposal on good business service. Am I right? It's not a good business. How much trouble will it take in parking and so Like that, in the middle of ideas, see this is wrong on ideas, waste management. Sweden is the only country which is purchasing the waste from England, Portugal and uh, other countries. You can ask me, sir, what? Anybody purchases waste? Yes, they are purchasing. You can't Google it. They know how to manage the waste from the waste, how to make a useful product which will then generate energy. And now we need manual. We are struggling to manage our waste. On the Mandu Railway to Indaga, waste dump ads due to that poison gas is coming out and all villagers, they are struggling with that. How many engineering colleges? More than uh, uh, 15,000 engineering colleges is there and more than a match to the engineers to the producing. They can't be a solution for that. Am I right? I don't know how other countries are behaving, how they are getting smart. There are also different ways, there are also different ways. What is the difference there? So that things, how they are going to do, what is the smartness there. I have shown you, starting from the bin, how the vehicle tracking will be there, and how the waste will be there, and how waste segregation is going to do. Any plan that, okay, we never follow to make segregation. I will agree. As a professional student, can you give an idea that whenever somebody comes and puts any waste, can you segregate? Can your machine segregate that? Checking whether it's wet or whether it's dry. Can you do this type of projects? We need that. Our developing countries like this. If you segregate automatically, yes, if your dustbin segregates automatically, I don't need smart dustbin. Smart dustbin is good for educated persons who will follow rules and law where they know that they should put plastic one side, dry one side, wet one side. They will follow there, I agree. But we don't follow it. We will mix, we will come and we will put it. Can you have a machine to segregate this? That your machine should identify which is wet, which is dry, which is plastic. And plus, we get to, what do you say, here are some stuff for the what is directly implemented in the industrial level. And uh, plus when we went to the uh, industrial level, we were actually glad to learn that, uh, you know, whatever we learned in the course, say for example the word Gerber files. And it was used over there, we kind of felt, uh, yeah, we actually kind of learned something here. Right? And then uh, plus uh, we were also taught the importance of this. So carrying on, uh, maybe this will uh, help us a lot. So yeah, I'm glad to listen. Uh, I'm from the
regular classes the it was a different input exposure for us to learn on PC, PCB. We learned many things like how PCB works and the industrial result was very good that we learned like how it was, like etching process and we, all the process was so good and we enjoyed this session. Okay, you can just tell your name. Uh, it was a new experience uh, and uh, it was informative from like uh, we didn't know more about the software, we learned about the software, uh, we would uh, want to, uh, we would want industrial visits more often. Personally, I was not able to uh, visit the industry, so I would like to go on an industrial visit anytime soon. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, we had so many boards to understand, like, how this audio board, ASP boards, and so we never knew how they work and how they design them. So when we got to know all of this, like, we felt we can do all these boards on the board. Yes. Yes, I can do Yes, very good. Last, the first three days, I think we learned uh, the designing part. And then in the industrial visit, uh, we actually, you know, uh, found out how it is fabricated, how it's manufactured, and the different stages in all the manufacturing uh, components. And it was really interesting because uh, even uh, the uh, people who uh, were explaining us, they were very sweet. They explained uh, everything, whatever questions we asked, and it was really nice. Thank you. I personally enjoyed it. Uh, we had an exposure to uh, the things we didn't know, we didn't learn in uh, our regular classes, and the industrial visit was really nice. So we got to see how it is manufactured and stuff. So. We would want to have more such uh, courses. Thank you. Uh, we, we are from EC department. It's again a circuit branch. So we felt it. We could connect a lot of things. It wasn't like we could lesson. However, a few software the coding parts were like not that understandable, but we we can like probably gear up in future by because we have a good knowledge about what we are doing. So overall, it was a good experience. And uh, I was more interested in uh, learning about the PCB design and uh, application. So uh, in, uh, next to any open courses, uh, I'll be learning about the PCB design. Okay? So please, sir, uh, for next time, we need to know about this book. Thank you. Our uh, topic required from the industry. Next semester, maybe, because every semester we have this practice of open course, uh, training the students uh, based on your requirement, it should come. That is my feeling. So, I want your inputs to flow next program, open course program, at least in the next semester. So, what do you want actually? Maybe if you have gained some uh, know, uh, experience or you have interacted with your other system working in industry or your friends. So that input should help us in design the curriculum or the content for the course and we should be able to train on that. We are ready to do that. Any any course that would tell, majority tell, we are ready to design that and we are ready to deliver with industrial support, industry expert support. Okay? Definitely we'll do that. That is how I expect. I can look for the feedback on that part. Okay? It was good and happy. Uh, because a lot of thought process we had and uh, then we designed PCB, we had a difficulty in arranging all the resource person, industry visits and all, but we could make it. We are happy for that and uh, you are also happy. I have seen this. I have taken feedback personally. Last two days back I have interacted with nearly 20 students and all were happy. That motivates me to work more on this kind of training sessions, uh, training programs. Thank you for uh, feedback. Keep giving feedback on these processes, learning process. That is important for you. When you go out of the MSI portal, you should feel you have good takeaways. You have learning outcome to show outside world that you are metabolic. That is what I want. Okay? Nothing more than that. Any support you require, please feel free with us. Come to us. We are ready to support. Thank you again. All of you. You tell me what you think. Be frank, be open. There is no punishment today, there is no evaluation, there is no marks for this session. Okay? Your grades won't change <laughs> if you tell anything. And I will not get offended, no matter what you say.
Yes. Hardware. Okay, two guys are very confident in saying hardware. But this is being unfair because you have some information, that's why you are doing it. Okay, let's be fair to the others. Software. Software, okay. So, we are only talking to SKL. Okay. What is scope wise? What else is important in terms of scope? Is it only pain? No, right? What do you look for? Like, you see, you are going to come out of college. Okay, except that you need another year. All of you are going to come out next semester. You are joining into the industry. 40 years career you have ahead of you. What is most important for you? Job security. Huh? Job security. Job security, okay. Security comes again. <laughs> okay. Job security, what else? Work and life balance. Huh? Work and life balance. I am like 10 plus years place here. I want work and life balance. That's why I am changing my job. That is what 10 plus years gave will tell. <laughs> Maybe I should. Somebody is thinking about it at that time. You know? Be such a Okay, what else? Career growth opportunity. Good pay scale. Good pay scale. That's what I so, pay scale. Let me write it down. So, we got pay scale. Somebody said. Somebody said job security. And uh, what else do we get? Good career growth opportunity. Work life balance. Work life balance. You can see that, but we understand that. Ah, somebody said job. Career growth opportunity. Career growth opportunity. Okay. That's the point. Okay. Career growth. Very good. What else? This one word which we guys used to use when we were in your age. It's sir. Somehow it's not coming. Job satisfaction, sir. Pause it. How do you celebrate your age? That is very, very unusual. I was expecting students to say that. He wants to apply balance, so he is going to do 8 hours, he is going to go in, cut a time, a lot of time now, that's it, now I want life, okay, I don't want work, so he is not interested in job satisfaction, he is working, take the pay, the pay is to enjoy his life, correct now, no, that's okay, nothing wrong with that, absolutely fine, everyone can have their own perspective, okay, nobody, nobody is keen on job satisfaction, so he is doing something very good, Doing something that is there. That is outside there. Indirectly, that's what it means. Okay. Anything else? Okay. That's the question. Okay. I think we have already come from first. Okay. So, do you think where are you being placed today? Do you think that's whatever you want, you're going to get out of it? It could be yes, it could be no. I don't know. I don't know. It could be maybe also. How many of you think you will get what you are what you are looking for in your career? Forty years of career. Whatever you thought, you are going to get it for sure. How many of you think? Not even one. Really? No, no, it's not a trap. You can answer. This is not a trap. I am not going to catch you and say, oh, see this, this. It's not a trap. Go ahead. Huh? Not even one is confident. Okay, okay, now we will answer the question. Why are you not confident? You can be frank, tell me. Why do you think you will not get what you are looking for? Job satisfaction, why you will not get uh, it? may not be the field of interest of this money. Okay, it may not be our field of interest. Fine. Okay, who said that? Uh, pay scale, you are not happy, yeah? Who ever got it? Uh, who got it? Who said pay scale? Uh, not happy with your author, huh? <laughs> you want it more? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> not happy with your author. <clears throat> okay. But why do you think you will not get this? <clears throat> this is one thing which almost industry can guarantee. If anything, this is almost guaranteed. Okay. Let me talk about this. A bit. So, I will give you a little bit here. Because I have been in the industry for 17 years. Okay. In the hardware industry for 17 years. Two years in software industry. I started my career in software. Okay, I, was, uh, I got a job through campus. I was placed in computer sciences corporation. If you ask any application software today, uh, 
apart from IBM, this is one of the dreams of the case. For application software. Okay, not system software, not phone. Okay. Two years down the line, I said no, this is not working for me. Job satisfaction was not there. Okay, I'll be frank. I did not get it was not my field of interest. But I still pulled on. Okay, pulled on for some time. Then I said, okay, I quit. Let me get into ALSM. In 2005, I joined Synopsys. Worked there for about 9 years. And then I, of course, shifted jobs and overall afterwards, 17 years in hardware industries. I'll give you a metric on the pay scale. Okay? Whoever said pay scale, please listen carefully. Software is number of years of experience into hardware is hard. Why? Why is that? <coughs> the industry works on a supply demand. If there is more supply, if demand is less, obviously they don't want to raise the you know, pay scale too much. Hardware industry is starved of people. It is struggling to get people. That is why a pipe is very easy land easily 15 lakhs. Easily. Easily we land as well. There is so much demand. We will pull you in. After some time, the 10 plus days will arrogantly say, I don't want to work in this field. I want to work this. And he can do that. He or she can actually do that. They can say, I want to work in this job. I don't want to do this work. Why? Because there is such a dust of people. Such shortage is there. Okay. Why I am telling you all this is because some of you are against them, but some of you still have a chance. I am not saying you don't have a chance, you still have a chance. Look at me. Okay, my own example is there. I joined a job, I left after two years. So it's not like you have done. You have taken your first job over. 40 years career is there. But don't make it too late. It's easy. That's all is my advice. Okay, you make a decision, you make it early. As early as possible. <coughs> I am not saying it's wrong. Also, you may like this work, whatever you are doing. You like an application software, just fine, code billing every day. Some people may work on mainframe, I don't know, anybody got into such things. You will do what? COBOL, no corresponding. You can be happy with that. Some people can be happy with Java. See, look at it, 1995, <coughs> there was nobody in India, or very few in India who knew Java. The Java itself was still evolving. C was evolving. What happened? AppTech, NIT opened. Correct? Few people got trained. Those few people had a career service. Correct, no? Today, what you are seeing, some of the things, blockchain <coughs> is kind of new, it's still it's a little, uh, what should I say, it's about 4 to 5 years old now. It's pretty much established. This yes, has been taking off for almost 7 8 years. You can say it's going good. Networking is very, very old. Very, very old. <coughs> At least 30, 40 years ago. But that's okay. There's no harm. We will have a lot of things starting 100G, 400G, and uh, your uh, Google guys are thinking, we want terabyte. We want terabyte speed, they are asking. Okay, they are pushing. We have this open hardware initiative and all that. They are pushing guys to go to terabytes per second. <laughs> right now, there is no solution. But they are pushing. Anyway, they say, we will give you money. You made it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> so this is probably the hot thing today. Can you all agree on this? Yes. This is probably the most hard of buzzword everywhere. You walk out of this campus, you are inside this campus, definitely you will hear this. Okay. Let me explain a very interesting thing. Like if somebody opens the board. So put it here. Software and hardware follow what is known as a cycle. You can go back in business. This is not me who is telling this, many industry experts are telling this. Okay. So, um, of course, there is backward time, but let us say I started at some time zero. Okay. This is the time axis. Okay. Unknown cycle. <coughs> so, if I say this is software, hardware is vanity or failure. Okay. <coughs> this is hardware. Okay, so what happens? There is always a software cycle which moves upward. A lot of software gets built and developed, a lot of opportunities increase, a lot of research, a lot of money is pushed in, a lot of companies, tons of startups will come, everything happens. And then, at some point, it gets a peak and start going down, right? Because this did not go at the same rate. Right? Hardware did not work with that. How much you wrote? 
they know hardware to run. AIML faced this problem for 30 years. If you read the history, it will say, no, there were two winters. They call it AI winter. There were two winters, somewhere in the 80s, somewhere in the 90s. Now they are saying, okay, finally summer, spring has come. Now we will make AIML move forward because finally hardware is capable of doing something. Now, you know where you are right now, somewhere over here. So tell me, for career growth, would you be better off starting at the peak, starting at the bottom? So you are better off starting at the bottom. Why? Because if you just see, maximum current is drawn in this part, correct? So I know voltage rises from here to here, maximum current will be drawn here. This is discharge. This is charging. Right? So here current will be put there. So this is why, this is probably a better place to be in. But is this the reason to enter some field? It's not the reason. What I am trying to tell you is, Remember there is a cycle. So if today software is in demand, if you enter here today, okay, this time will give you a period of this time period is about time period here. This time period is about five years. Okay? Time period is five years. So every two and a half years there is a reversal. Okay. Today you enter some point. Okay. Two and a half years later, the opposite thing will be in demand. So you will start seeing this. You will see this in life. So now tell me, you have a 40 year career. How many times will you see the cycle? You will see the cycle 8 times, correct? 8 times you will see up and down, up and down, up and down. Does it really matter where you end up? Does it really matter? So, perceiving what you are seeing today, okay, buzzwords and money being thrown out, articles being written, you see websites telling lot of stuff. Doesn't really matter where you end up. What matters? Somebody said, uh, who said uh, like like the job? That's what you said, right? Job satisfaction. Because in other words, the first thing you should like to do it. If you don't like to do it, going to office is a torture. I mean, we have all faced it. I have faced it. I don't want to get up and go to the office. Why? I feel it's a torture. Oh my God. And then you start cursing your manager. That fellow man, that he doesn't know anything. Simply he'll come and eat my head. He will keep coming and asking status, status, status every half and every one hour he wants the status. What I will do in one hour man? Useless one hour and all, you will be scolding your manager. So, instead if you enjoy your work, not to help with the manager man, let him do whatever he wants. I am doing my work. I am enjoying doing what I am doing. Right? That's, that's the philosophy you need to take. So, this is very important. Yes, of course, you should get compensated for what you are thinking of. Otherwise, you are not able to do charity at least. But remember, the company is also not doing charity. If you are getting a higher pay scale, they are putting that much pressure on you. Right? So, you, you hear guys in industry. I am sure you have either your cousins or your, you know, some distant family members. Somebody will be there, definitely in IT field. Plenty of them also. You ask them, they will tell you. 17 hours, night out. You have heard the word night out. Oh, all night they are working. Once, not once, twice, weeks together, months together. Why? Deadline. You have to meet deadline. Otherwise, what? Huh? Termination of who? Not just employee, whole team goes. Whole team goes from the director all the way down, everyone out. We are, if you don't meet the deadline, we are shutting the division. May man will come next day. Vice President will say, since we have missed the timeline, we are not able to make money out of this business. VP will send one mail. This unit is to be dissolved. Let go all these people. Whole department gone. Goodbye. Then you have to take your resumes and go. One month notice they will give you. They will say you may not come to office. Actually, I have been there. I have seen all this happen. Because I will tell you my own experience. See, we were, we were acquired. Okay. Then we acquired. Okay. Then we were sold. All this happened. And I have seen colleagues of mine being asked to be batches of them. When they, they decide, okay, it's a business decision, they call it business decision. Because they are seeing that we are not going to get the return of money. We have invested this much money. You remember you are also money for them. You are not a person. You are money. You are money for them. Why? Because you are cost. You are a cost. You have to pay this for a salary. Whatever it is, 5 lakhs per annum, it's a cost of the project. 
So one year project, this person, okay, five lakhs. Next person, five lakhs. Either they will add up and tell this is the cost of the project. Okay. If I am not going to get the return on it, I don't want it. This will be indiscriminately let you go. That is why those guys are working day out, day in day out. That is why they are doing night works. Am I saying anything new or uh, is this something you already knew about? Anything new you are hearing? No? You already heard all this? Okay. Hmm? No, no, go ahead, tell me. If it's not new, then it's not new. Which one? It's off it. Working pressure will be there. Deadline. We have to meet the deadline. Correct. Anything else? No, this layout part was very known. Was it known to you? It was known to you. Common thing, what department is wrong? My brother told me, sir, he works in IT industry. My brother told me that. That's what I'm saying. So, what I'm saying is nothing unusual. It's a known thing only, correct? Yeah. So, this will happen. So, then day in, day out, you have to work. So, finally, what is your motivation? One is this, one could be this, this, sorry, not there. Not there. Security will be there only if your unit is performing. Your department is doing well, your business unit is doing well, they are making money. Otherwise, forget it. You will not make it. The job security, you forget. Work life balance, I think, 17 year example. A 17 hours, 17 hours deadline, I don't know. You may get it, you may not get it. I will leave it to probably.